unless President Obama and Congress agree to an alternative way to reduce the budget deficit. So will they strike a deal? Joining us now from L.A., Ben Stein, the author of the book, How to Really Ruin Your Financial Life and Portfolio. That's an upbeat title. Ben, uh, first off, if we go up the fiscal cliff, what happens? Will I have to sell all my unicorn hummels? I don't think you're going to have to sell anything, Greg, uh, and I don't think it'll be the end of the world. Uh, we're talking about, a, at, at most, I would think, a couple of months, probably more like a couple of weeks before they reach some kind of compromise. But the fact is taxes will go up. Yeah. Taxes will go up on rich people a lot, on really, really rich people a really, really lot. Yeah. Uh, and th we need it. We need higher taxes. We need more revenue. We cannot keep running these deficits forever. All right, boo on you, Ben. I disagree with everything you said. But you're both an actor and an economist. I kind of understand why you want to raise taxes. It's about getting invited to more cocktail parties Not without actors yelling at you. Not at all. I don't get invited to any cocktail parties. I don't drink anyway. But, I, but uh, look, the whole idea uh, of being a Republican is fiscal sensibility. Right. And fiscal sensibility says we cannot run $16 trillion debt. We cannot have it go up to $20 trillion. We cannot leave our, our children and grandchildren a defaulted, bankrupt America. So where do we get the money? We can cut government spending, and we must. We right. absolutely must. But we, got, we have a lot of rich people in this country. They have an awful lot of money. They're not taxed enough. I, I'm, I, I disagree in the sense that the more that you feed the beast, the beast will never go on a diet. The beast will keep eating. And I was listening to you to, uh, earlier today on, uh, on uh, Ms. Kelly's show. And your argument for raising taxes is it's not going to hurt us that much. Is that really a good argument for raising taxes? I mean, that's I don't, I don't think it's going to hurt us at all compared with continuing to run these huge deficits. Obviously, if I thought it was better to keep running these huge deficits, I would say do that. But we had year after year in the Bush administration and in the Obama administration in which we said taxes uh, I don't have to go up, but uh, deficits don't matter. Yeah. It turns out they do matter. It turns out that if we go bankrupt, it's going to matter a lot. Uh, where to get the money from? Well, I'd like to I'd like to have every citizen in America pay at least some taxes, even if it's $100. But uh, there are very, very many very rich people in this country. The idea that their taxes are the lowest they've ever been since World War II just doesn't make any sense. Why should their taxes be that low? <laughs> when we have a fiscal emergency. But that, to me, is not an argument. We've got plenty of revenue coming in. It's about spending. So you no, can't, that, but you can't raise, there's, it's like, why do you raise taxes when you know that spending is the problem? It and, isn't the problem. It's partly the problem. And taxes are partly the problem. We are spending way more than we should, and there's incredible waste yeah. in the federal government. We need some kind of, a really serious commission with teeth in it to get that waste out of the government. But we've also cut taxes over and over again during the Bush administration. We cut them a tiny little bit under yeah. the first Obama administration. We need more revenue. As Mr. Obama said, I, I'm not a fan of Obama. I think everyone who knows me knows that. But he said it's not calculus. It's arithmetic. We need more money. We can't get it just by cuts. We need to there, raise taxes. All right. what, what do you care if they raise taxes on some rich person by seven or eight because I'm not a class warfareist. I want to be not, rich. It, uh, it's, you are already rich, but the problem... The I'm problem, rich in my soul. No, you are rich altogether. What does it matter if a person is making five, ten, twenty, thirty million a year pays another few hundred thousand in taxes? What does it matter to him? Do you if actually think I'm money? in that pay range? You might be you in the totally lower You totally exaggerate then, yes. my stature at Fox News. I live in a end. basement. I want to tell you, though, I, 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 I don't... <laughs> I don't, whenever you raise taxes, it never goes against anything. It just goes for more spending. I'm that's very cynical not, about that's that. That's not so. I mean, when President Reagan, Ray, look, everyone says, oh, Reagan cut taxes and, and revenue went up. He cut taxes in his first year. Every year after that, he raised taxes. And in some years after that, he raised them quite dramatically. So uh, let's go back to the Gipper and say he realized that uh, cutting taxes was a good idea yeah. until he saw it didn't work. Then he raised taxes. Look, I hate paying taxes, too. Any normal person does not want to pay more tax than he has to. But we need the revenue. We All don't right. want to bequeath our children of bankrupt country. All right, you're a communist. I want to talk now about Hostess, the makers of Twinkies, Ding Dongs, and something called Wonder Bread. Don't know what that is. The